No idea. All I know is we just need to get done. It's a gluten-free kale and spinach based cracker with a hummus filling, so it's a sandwich cracker, and it's honestly good and honestly green. We're Team Power Punch, that's our team name. Our product is H squared or hummus harmony. Sandwich the garden. That's the slogan. Trademarked. Our students are, are up to date on these trends and sometimes they find out it's, it's, it's not an easy thing to do to make right. something gluten free or, or vegan mm -hmm. or something like that and it's, a, it's a, really a challenge for them to do that. We left actually a couple of our crackers over the weekend to see how much moisture transferred from the hummus to the cracker to make the cracker soggy. And it was a lot. It made the cracker really like chewy. Chewy. Have you ever had a chewy cracker? It's not the best it's thing. Not like a, yeah. It should be crisp. So we challenge our students on how to keep the moisture where it's supposed to be, because you want that cracker not to have any moisture, but you don't want the, the hummus to be dry. We re removed all the water from our hummus, um, and we dropped our water activity from a 0.94 from the. Well, gold I took this class a few years ago. Being on the student side of it, it's kind of nerve-wracking. I think it gets a really good sense of what really happens. Uh, there's a lot of trial, uh, trial periods, there's a lot of feedback, there's a lot of reformulation that goes on. And we also use drum dyed garbanzo bean flour. I would put myself in the consumer's point of view. What are they going to see at the store? What, what's it going to look like on the shelf? I think it looked fantastic. I mean, they really thought outside of the box, no pun intended. But it really captured your eye because you could be you could actually see the product. You could see what you're looking at. And I think that really resonates with the, the new and upcoming millennials who are gonna be the buying force in the market here in the next couple of years. Thank you. It got to the point where we don't like to eat hummus anymore. But uh, we're trying to market a hummus product, so make sure you eat it. Our goal is to to produce fifty one new products out of this class and that's our fifty one successful students. Now just clean up and leave. <laughs>